Geometry Dash 2.0 has just been released after a 7 year wait. And in this video, we're going to dissect the 4 new platformer stages to see what the future of Geometry Dash truly entails. Will platformer be the new king, or were normal levels the goats all along? Let's start with the first level, fittingly named The Tower, being showcased in the third sneak peek along with the sound effect trigger. Honestly, looking back, I'm very happy Robtop didn't delay sound effects to 2.3, because imagine this. Anyway, this level was a very good introduction to platform mode, with very creative gameplay in some sections, like these rotating platforms. While the coins are definitely a step up in difficulty from something like base after base, they overall aren't too hard, and I was able to collect them after a few minutes of playing. Speaking of coins, Rob raised the high secret coin achievement from 130 to 160, which is a 30 coin increase, despite only 15 new coins being added. This means that if you want to get all the achievements, you'll have to sacrifice your will to live and beat 15 more map packs. Ouch. The level, despite being simple, is very fun to play and has good decoration. You can tell Rob wasn't rushing himself while making this, leading to earning a 9.25 out of 10. This will be very hard to beat, especially with this goofy cutscene. <laughs> Our next level is the sewers, which is featured in the first ever 2.2 sneak peek. This level is as old as theories about 2.2 dropping in 2021, which is insane to think about now. Off the bat, the Kevin McLeod music is strange, to say the least. It definitely doesn't hurt the level, but it definitely doesn't fit as much as some of the more atmospheric levels later on. After collecting this really clever second coin, we get this iconic cutscene. I'm gonna be honest, this boss is brutal, it caught me completely off guard as I was expecting all these levels to be 2 stars, and something you can easily want to attempt first try, but no, it took me quite a while. I remember worrying a little that this boss would be way too hard when I saw the sneak peek, but the way Rob made it look so easy made me shrug it off. Factoring in the fact that you have to collect coins while dodging attacks if you want a shot at one of the secret coins makes it, yeah, it's a nightmare. Speaking of which, I'm unsure why, but it's surprisingly easy to miss coins in the level. While trying to get footage for the video, I was one or two off by the time I completed the level, three times. Once you learn the boss fight though, it's very fun and satisfying to play and rebeating it isn't too hard. Deadlock Chumpy boss fights have nothing on this, especially with the other boss fight coming later. The sewers are surprisingly good all around, being one of the most consistent levels in all aspects. It's fun, creative, and doesn't look empty at all. With a score of 9.5, will it be beaten? With the seller, we're heading into uncharted territory. Unlike the previous two bangers, these two levels weren't shown anywhere besides one or two loose sneak peeks in the trailer. Off the bat, the robot feels surprisingly smooth in platform mode, and could be a revival of the game mode in 2.2, but who knows. In general, platform mode feels insanely smooth to play through, which is really fortunate as a lot of people were worrying that the mode wouldn't play well and adapted to Geometry Dash. Anyway, the level at the beginning shows signs of being noticeably emptier than the previous levels, but it isn't the biggest issue in the world. What is the biggest issue in the world is this part. I have no idea why, but attempting this part while trying to collect coins is brutal. You have to be insanely precise with all your movements and sometimes you just die. This part is harder than Limbo, it changed my mind. Afterwards, we confront this thing, which I still don't know what it's supposed to be. It could possibly be related to the scrapped concept art of the King Rob showed a few years ago, but I honestly have no idea. After dropping an Xbox voice chat level threat at us, Rattle Dash tells us that we can do this another, another time. time then. Fueled with rage, we grab a bomb and blow up Rattle Dash. This cutscene is so goofy, but I absolutely adore it. The rest of the level is alright, it does dip down in quality in terms of decoration, but gameplay wise it plays pretty well. While it definitely is worse than the other two levels in those aspects, the originality is top notch. Earning it an 8.25 out of 10. There isn't much else to say about the level though, unlike the secret hollow, one of the most interesting levels Robtop has ever created. This is another level that was completely unknown to us before the update, besides again some loose teasers. I actually thought this level by Autonic in the trailer would be the 4th level, as it fit. There weren't any lava themed tower levels before it, and it would have been pretty fitting, but oh well, guess I fell for a red herring. 
Anyway, the level starts out with a very intimidating atmosphere. A sharp contrast to Kevin McLeod only two levels prior. After going to jail again, and an Among Us sound effect playing, we go to the coolest part of the level. You can immediately tell that Robtop was destined for platformer games. Seriously, the amount of creativity in this part is incredible. You got conveyor belts that spew out random obstacles for you to dodge, Pac-Man South quarters where you have to dodge the chompies. Genuinely, this section has it all. Also, yeah, Rattle Dash came back to life. I guess dying was for another time then. After completing this banger of a section, we head off to the second and final boss fight of this series. This boss is absurd. The first one has nothing on it. I love how all of the attacks are randomized, making it feel like an actual boss you're fighting, not a predetermined laser beam you have to memorize. The first phase is pretty normal, with the boss shooting fireballs and you using shards left over from the green fireballs to fight back. While it isn't too hard, it goes from 0 to 100 very quickly. The next phase, the boss begins to use this laser attack, which normally isn't too hard, but paired with the fact that it can also shoot fireballs at the same time makes it very tricky to dodge. If you're able to pass that section though, you head off to the final phase, which is where the boss swoops down and smashes the ground, with a bunch of thorns littering the area. These attacks aren't as common as the other two, but they can seriously catch you off guard. And finally, after dodging all these attacks at once and shooting back, you finally complete the boss in a pretty good pace. Sure, you had a few deaths, but it isn't too But How on earth are you supposed to beat this in 280 seconds? This means that you have to have very consistent movement throughout the whole level and then somehow one attempt the boss. While there might be leeway for a second boss attempt, it's only if you die very early, and let's be honest, if you die on the first phase, your ass is not beating the rest of the boss second try. This speedrun coin is awful, I've spent 5 hours attempting to get the speedrun coin and unfortunately still haven't gotten it. This boss gets my heartbeat up more than the gym. Overall though, this is one of the most creative levels Rob has ever made. And while some parts of the level are noticeably emptier, the amount of charm this level has is immaculate, letting it score a 9 out of 10. As someone whose eyes genuinely hurt from playing normal levels, platform mode is a really refreshing addition to the game, and has caught many people, including myself, off guard by how good it was. Platform mode hasn't become the new king yet, as normal levels are still more popular than ever. But it'll definitely be interesting to see the evolution of platformer levels as time passes. Also, with Dash and the unreleased explorers having a mixed reception, the possibility of Robtop only making maps for the tower for future updates isn't completely out of the picture, but who knows? Consider checking out the video on screen and thanks for watching.